back i hope you are doing great so in today's video we'll be talking about list in swift ui so as you can see on my screen i already have a list view created and list are basically what you see in your settings app so when you open your settings app you will see a lot of options given in a table right and you can scroll through all the options so this is basically designed by using list element in swift ui so we'll see uh, what we can achieve using list so most of the applications and most of the times in your development journey you will be using list a lot because that's like a building block of most of the applications so let's see what list is so inside of the body we have a text currently we will remove this and instead of this we will add a list here and inside this we will add the hello world one text all right so currently you can see the behavior of list is same like v stack or s stack and here also we can have multiple elements just like a v stack or a s stack as well as because this is all static this is all static we can also have dynamic contents inside it so let's say i want to have a loop and show 10 elements the say dynamic and then the count and we'll capture the value here All right so now we have some dynamic contents that we are passing through for each above we have some static text and again we can have some more static text at the bottom of it so you can see we are able to combine static as well as dynamic text inside our list and as well as uh, in settings app you can see that you have particular sections for every category so just like that we can add it here too we just need to add section so six section and inside the section we have to give the heading so let's call it section one and all the elements we can wrap it inside this and you will see that we have a nice little section created here and if we want to create one more section then we can just call it section 2 or anything that you want to call it and then move all the other code inside it this will be section section 2 yeah and you will see that we have very neatly organized our code uh, organized our views inside the section all right so this is static text and you will it is very less likely that you will be using list in this way most of the time you will be having some array or a custom structure that you will want to show inside the list so let's see how we can achieve that too so let's say i have an array of uh, marvel characters so let marvel characters is equal to let's say spider-man Iron Man, Hulk, and Thor. So let's say we have these four characters as of now. So and we want to show them inside the list. So let's just remove this. And inside the list, we can just pass this Marvel characters and then capture the characters one by one here and show them inside the text. Oh, character here. So we have passed the Marvel character inside our list, and uh, we are trying to get the character for the current index, and we just want to show the name inside the text. So currently, it is throwing us an error. Initializer requires that string conforms to identifiable. So it is asking that uh, it wants to know that how it can identify that all these elements are unique because list wants all the elements to be unique so that it can uniquely identify all the rows that it is creating so for this we can pass the id and here we can write dot self so by passing dot self we are saying that all the elements are unique and you can use it all right and you will see that we have dynamically created a list here so this is one way like we have some array 
an array of string and we are able to create a list based on that. Let's say we have a structure that we want to show it here. So let's create a structure, Marvel characters. And name, and it will have an image name. And here, instead of just passing the names, we will be giving the name as well as the image name. So I already had it created. I just copy pasted it. So we created an array of Marvel characters and just pass the name as well as the image. Images I already have in the assets. So we will be using those images only. All right, so we have a Marvel characters variable now. So let's use it directly here. And you'll see we are still getting some error. Uh, okay, so instead of character, we'll say character or name. And uh, here for the ID, uh, there's one more way. Instead of passing dot self, we can uh, assign Marvel character to conform to identifiable protocol. And once we mark it identifiable, we, we will be asked to add protocol stuffs. So let's just add it. And for where ID, you can just pass UUID and that's it. And now you don't need to pass any ID here inside the list as it will automatically know that uh, it can get the ID from here. So UUID is just one way to uh, create dynamic uh, string and assign it to the ID. It will always create a unique string and you don't need to bother about it. Okay. So now we don't need to pass the ID. We are just able to pass the uh, array and uh, we are able to see the uh, name here. So we saw how we can use structure here too. And let's just customize it. So instead of using just a text, I already have a Marvel view created. So I will add it here, Marvel character view. And inside the character, I'll just pass the character. So this is how it looks now. We have the image as well as the text on top of it. And you can even have a navigation stack added. Navigation stack, which we learned in our previous lecture. If you haven't, if you don't know how to use it, you can just go to our previous lecture and watch it. I will mention the link in the I icon on the top right. And then we can have navigation title. Which says I love Marvel. So for love, we'll just use this emoji. Right. I love Marvel. Okay. And now once we scroll it. It looks good, doesn't it? Also, uh, when we add a list, we have multiple styling options. So here we can say list style. And we have different list styles like plain, automatic, grouped. By default is inset grouped. We can make it grouped. And we'll see that the padding that it had is gone now. So this is how grouped looks. Then we also have play. So it feels something like grouped only. So you can play with these values like there are four to five. Play in sidebar, inset grouped, grouped, automatic, inset. So you can play with these values and check how these uh, look. All right, we will keep it grouped for now. So we saw how we can add static text in list, how we can add dynamic text in list, how we can add a string array inside the list and how we can add a structure inside the list and how to use identifiable protocol so that we don't need to pass the ID here. If we remove this identifiable protocol and this ID, here we can just go and say ID and pass the key path, which is like name or image name, whatever field is unique we can pass it here and this will also work all right so using identify protocol is pretty easier way so i will recommend you to always use it and you can use the uuid directly so that you don't need to assign the id variable value always 
because your UID will take care of itself. So yeah, I guess that's it from this lecture. I hope you understood it, like how to add elements in list. So I hope you guys understood it. And if you have any doubts, please just let me know in the comments as well as please do subscribe to the channel. And if you have already subscribed, please do share it with your group and your friends. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.